Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode on this channel. Great to have you on board. It's all about tarantulas and it's all about new species of tarantulas, which also do affect the pet tarantula hobby. So I'm right there with you guys and I'd like to showcase what is it is all about. There's so much talk going on. Yeah, but seriously though, did you know that we do have two new species of tarantulas from Chile? The, 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 the yellow one and the red one, you remember? Yeah, we have the third one actually. And it is the same as the red one and they also already do have a name and now we have two names for the same species. I know it is really confusing. We now have two different names for the very same species, but I, I don't really want to talk about the quality of the papers and blee blah blah. I really want to talk about a certain issue I somewhat have with the community. Um, not specific to pet tarantula community, but more about the science community. And issue is a harsh word there also because it's not a personal issue with anyone. But it's about, about how we should work together. And I know it could not be perfect in any world. It will, not, it will never be perfect. But maybe, maybe if we talk about this topic, we can make it better a little bit in the future. So, what is the issue? The issue is that there were two teams working independently on the very same species description. So imagine a group of people in Chile itself working with their, yeah, their own tarantulas and they are working on it. But in the very same time, there is another group of people also working on the very same species. And now comes the, the main problem with this, with this uh, relation. Both teams don't really know that they are working on the very same species. And in the end, we actually have the fact that there are two species or one species described with two names completely independently. And now comes the fun part, which is the worst part, that the team who is able to describe the species first wins. And winning means that their species name is valid. And the species who got described just a day after their publication, it is not the valid species name. Um, you somewhat know maybe what I want to refer to. The thing is, there are different groups of people working on tarantulas every day. And there is a ton of projects out there who are yeah, working on several different tarantula groups all over the world and this is great news. We have, I would say, about 20 people actively working on tarantula taxonomy. There are a lot of students coming from Mexico and Brazil, so they're also working actively with tarantula species, which is awesome. But the thing is that at the same time, there could be another group of people working on the very same species you are working on. And in the end, it could be quite frustrating to see that when you take about three years, you work three years for a single species description because it is your first time doing it. And someone else did the work within two weeks because he has done about a hundred papers in the past 10 years and he is just more experienced then he will win and winning is the term I use because I can't remember a better English word for it but what I want to say is that the group of people who actually is first who put, put their publication out there first wins in terms of species names ah, so what we have now we do have now a very nice paper from the Chilean arachnologist describing two species of Homeoma back in October, I think. So it was two or three weeks ago. But we also have now a very nice paper about Homeoma species described by the team of Ray Gabriel, Danny Sherwood and Stuart Longhorn. 
You can see it by the paper. It is not something they have done in the past three weeks because they heard that this species just got described from Chilean arachnologists. You can, when you go through the paper, you see all the details about, regarding also the pictures, but also the detailed description of the species, you know they have been working on this for quite a long time. And this is just, this is just, there are no words because the fact that a group of people, namely these three, three uh, arachnologists, worked to describe this species and in the end now have nothing but their work but they don't get their the honor to name a species is just i don't know outrageous um i would be personally really if that would happen to me because yeah you spend a whole lot of time and effort and resources into describing a new tarantula species and then maybe just two days earlier someone else published um, on the very same species and described it and now comes the fun part the fun part is that there's actually just a few minor um, must do's to get a new species accepted so you can either go with the greatly appreciated peer-reviewed journal um, which is internationally known for their high standards and on the other side you could just print it yourself make sure it has an ISBN number and it is publicly available as well you know what I want to say it's sometimes just not fair but we as a community and I talk about everyone now about the pet tarantula community the science community about tarantulas all we can do is talk more with each other. We should talk more about ongoing projects and we should, first of all, not fear that someone is stealing your work, but more about thinking maybe you could do something together. Maybe you talk with someone about a certain species and mention, well, I'm already in the process of describing the species and the other person responds, oh, well, nice. I've done the same thing for the very same species, but I did the part you have not done right now. So you could just combine both works and in the end you do have a nicer paper and you don't get the very same issue that we face with these two new homoyoma species. Oh, that was a long story. Uh, I hope I have not offended anyone. That was not the intention of the video. In the end, I really think that when we work together more closely, um, worldwide that everyone will benefit because there are so many species out there who still need this scientific uh, description that the world of science knows about these tarantulas and there are so many out there and no one really has to steal from someone's yeah, personal work in the end so that would be great if this will change in the future because things like this that there is a group of three people working for a certain amount of time doing a huge and awesome paper. So what now has to happen is someone has to write another article stating that these two species from these independent group of people are in fact the same species. So just because someone, so just because they have now published on the very same species, it is not automatically synonymized. And I can do this video with the best intentions. I've talked with the Chilean arachnologists and I've talked with the British arachnologists, Stuart Longhorn and Ray Gabriel about this topic. It is outrageous because they have simply did not know about each other and they simply did not know that they were working on the same thing. If they would have known and if they would have talked to each other, we would now see a, yeah, research article with all of them in a single article and no one in the end has a bad standing. That's about it. I hope you guys really liked this episode. If you did like it, make sure you thumbs it up and leave a comment down below. Also, it would be great to see you more on this channel, so make sure you subscribe to it and watch all our latest videos about tarantulas in the wild. 
make sure you go on the very starting point so you can start in Colombia and then go through yeah Malaysia Sri Lanka all the ones would be great to see you on this journey we'll see each other next week stay tuned